Hello everyone. This is Maitri. I am out with yet another video on parenting with a guide for enabling your child for online education. Every parent is thinking about the hype around online classes and are worried about the concept itself. That is the subject of discussion in this video as education is a very important aspect of parenting. Many schools have already started the online classes and the rest will start soon. Without a doubt, this is a ch challenging time for parents, teachers and children alike. It is very important to address some of the concerns that parents are having right now about this. Now, with the COVID scenario, all of us are worried about sending our kids to school. But at the same time, we are equally not sure about how kids are going to get adapted to the new format of online classes. A major factor that frames students' life is a set routine comprising school, homework, coaching or tuition classes, co-curricular activities and more studies with a dash of entertainment thrown in. But this routine will completely get disrupted now. The boundaries between study time, play time and me time have merged. On top of that, Children and parents are not used to spending their entire time inside the house. So, it's a challenge for parents to create structured environment for their children and themselves in the house. Therefore, establishing a routine becomes crucial for children. A routine will keep the child engaged and disciplined to follow that routine comes from parents. And online courses help to do just that. The students will now be attending the online classes arranged from school. One of the main pros of online classes is that students can log in anytime. While it is best if they set a daily routine for themselves and stick to it with encouragement from parents. They can very well individualize changes to their routine as per their desire. As students and parents continue to engage and explore various features of online learning, they will re realize that online learning is a lot more powerful than offline coaching classes. The current situation is a challenge but also an opportunity. By providing online courses, education websites can actually deliver on the promise, education is the basic right. Here are some points that should guide. First one is treat an online class like a real class. When it comes to online classes, the child needs to have the discipline to sit down and say, I am going to work on this, as well as the dedication to actually follow through. They can be flexible as to when they complete the work during the week but can't put it off indefinitely. We parents will have to ensure that this mindset is developed in the child very early. Remember that they need to understand that just because they are at home, it is not a vacation. Second is accountability. In a traditional classroom setting, the child is constantly reminded of assignments and the deadlines. But without a teacher reminding them now, they could faltered in their works. As a parent, it is our duty to make sure that this gap is filled in to start with. Gradually, the child will learn to be more accountable by itself. Ensure that assignments are allotted enough time in advance. Last minute's effort generally fail due to various reasons. For instance, the night before the assignment due date, if there is a power cut, it's all over. Third one is time management. The flexibility to create your own schedule is often one of the biggest appeals of taking online classes. But that freedom can also be detrimental if the child does not have solid time management skills. We parents need to coach our children with time management skills. We can help in several ways. A calendar of assignments can be prepared and updated regularly on the calendar app in the laptop itself. 
weekly schedules can be created and followed religiously and time blocking techniques can be put to use. Of course, all these have to be evaluated periodically by us. We also need to factor in prior commitments and emergencies that will come in resulting in time off from the calendar. Create an organized regular study space. Adults have a specific area of the home in which they do their work and it's important that you create a similar space for the online classes for your child too. Your children will achieve their best in a quiet, comfortable and dedicated space that is strictly devoted to learning. Make that area equipped with some water, notebooks, pencil, pen etc. And most importantly, some snacks. Ensure that they have a high speed internet connection, the required books, materials and software for the course. Have loose headphones for listening to lectures or discussions. Not earphones as they are known to damage the ear in a long run. Fifth one is eliminate distractions. From Netflix to social media to dishes piling up in the sink, you are responsible as a parent to create a conductive environment. Regardless of anything, it is important to tune out the cell phones in the vicinity. This applies to the parent also. Think of the study area as a temple. We are obliged to silence our phones when we enter a temple, right? And when you do receive a call, even outside the study area, ensure that you speak softly so as to not distract the child. If you can afford it, installing a few sound absorbing props and materials in the child's room will be a blessing in disguise. Figure out how your child learns best. Once you have established where they will sit and learn, think about when and how they learn. Not everyone learns in the same way. Your child could be a morning person or a kind of a night owl or a midday freak. Whatever. Tailor the homework schedules around that for maximum productivity. Make your child participate actively. Always urge and nurture your child to participate in discussions, if any, with fellow classmates. This might involve commenting on a classmate's paper on a discussion board or posting a question about a project they are working on. If they don't understand something, Urge them to ask the teacher for a clarification. The best online courses are built around the concepts of collaboration with instructors actively encouraging that students work together to complete assignments and discuss lessons. We are in a new world order now because of the COVID virus. There will be a lot of changes to everyone's lifestyle and it is essential that we are parents make the transition for our child as easy as possible. The child and ourselves too will soon discover that online learning is in fact easy and fun. We will soon realize that we have plenty of time in our hands which we can use for various other developmental activities or for leisure. What matters is discipline and that should never be compromised upon. Hope this video was useful in some way. As I always request, please do subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. Do not forget to hit the bell icon. Please drop in your comments below this video. I welcome appreciation and criticism equally well and I am always open to suggestions. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.